Hey guys, welcome to the Dad Shoes Podcast, the dad group you don't have to go to. John, do you have a, uh, this might be a personal question, do you have a barber? Um, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, <laughs> so I did have a barber, and then COVID hit. Okay, very true, fair. So, so I had a barber that I started going to, golly. A year or two before I got married, three years before I got married, something like that. Anyways, I, I got, I was, I was coming home from Orlando, right? And I'm on my motorcycle and my hair's long and I haven't, I used to cut my hair by myself. I just shaved my head, like, like, buzz. Yeah. Give myself a fade. And I was pretty good at, I'm pretty good at giving myself like a, like a fade, like a high and tight. But I decided I needed something that was like, looked better. <laughs> so I hadn't cut my hair in a, a, in a few months. And, and Right, so I'm coming down. I'm on my motorcycle, and I get I I, I like I I'd found the the place I was going to go before, so I I pull right in two hours on the motorcycle, wind whipping. I mean, I had a helmet on, but you know, messing up the bottom of my hair. I had a helmet hair, wind blown to the bottom, and and I pull into this this place, and it's a barber shop on North Lake, the one I kept telling. It's an MVP. It's like a chain. Yeah. But it's like they just have the name, I think. I think it's it's like an independent barbershop. Anyways, I, I pull in and this I'm like, hey, I need a haircut. Do you guys have an opening? And the like the owner turns around and goes, yeah, Reese can take you. Reese. I remember hearing about Reese. So I go and I see Reese. And I could see Reese's face, man. And he was just, all right, fine. And he used to smoke. He'd stop smoking while I was going, but he, but he used to smoke. So he'd just come back in from having a cigarette. So he smelled like smoke. I'm like, eh, whatever. And I just need a haircut. I'm like, look, man, this is what I want. And, and you know, I used to, I did the, the comb over, but not like, not like a comb over because I'm not bald, but like, like just a side part. Right. Yeah. And, but my hair was longer. I wanted like some length on top, short on the sides with that side part. So he, he's like, okay, I know what you mean. Let, let me, let me take a look. And he, he spent a solid 30 minutes cutting my hair. And then he trimmed up my beard and made it look all nice and good. And he stepped back and he goes, dude, you're a handsome dude. <laughs> I should have taken a picture before. <laughs> and we both, we, we had a good five minutes laughing. And ever since then, wow. he was my barber. Like that was it. I went back a few uh, a couple months, uh, about a month later. And I went to someone else at the same barber shop because he was off that day and I didn't know. And the guy like butchered me. He cut my neck, did a terrible job of my hair. It was just oh. a bad spot. So I went back. I wouldn't go to anyone but Reese. I started calling to make appointments. And this is, I mean, almost 10 years ago now, I guess. Yeah. So I started going to this guy. And I, don't, I look, I don't go to the barber all the time. I would go about once a quarter, about every three months. And it was just because every time I went, it cost me 50 bucks. And, $50. Or 40 bucks. It wasn't all that much. Like, like he would charge me. He'd do the full hair and beard. Right. And, and make yeah. me look amazing. And I give him a good tip, you know? Okay. So yeah, it, that's fair. It, yeah. So when I went, it was, it wasn't cheap because he did a lot of work. If I went more frequently, I probably wouldn't have given him, you know, 20 bucks each time. That makes sense. I've never had a barber. Like, and that's the thing. There was a lady who cut my hair all through my youth. Like, is that when I was growing yeah. up, this is who my mom took me to was her friend. And sure. I went there for years until I moved to Jacksonville. And that was like the first time oh, I had to like. You can't go to her because I she's not in Jacksonville. Yeah. I, I think one time I came back home and just while I was home, I went and got a haircut because I went to go see. Uh, Convenience. I'm see here. It makes Convenient. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the first time I was like, man, I need to go like find somewhere. <laughs> and this is like, it's not embarrassing because I'm not embarrassed by it, but it's. Not like the ideal situation. Sure. I was with sports clips, you know. Look, one step above super clips. Yeah, right. So, so I'll say, in, in my opinion, finding a barber for a man is the way to go, and the barber can be a man or a woman. So, it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. But, but I think that the tr the the trade of barber is specific to men, and. I'm I'm not going to get into gender stereotypes. Men have beards. Men have a certain type of haircut that we tend to have. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a longer haircut, then a barber probably isn't going to know what to do. Like, 
Like if you were if if your wife wanted to go with you to, because look, I don't have a hairdresser. I need a haircut. I'm going to sports clubs. You go to the <laughs> you, right. You go to the same barber. It's not a big deal. The barber's going to know what to do. But it's yeah. not like that's not what they do. They do men. A hairdresser does women or longer hair because I know absolutely nothing about the technical differences. But this is my armchair like. This is what I know about yeah. that, right? So, like, of all the like hair a that hairdresser. You've cut, this is the conclusion exactly. that you've made. I will say, I did cut my own hair for a while. I used to cut friends' hair. I've tried to cut your hair a few times, and you're like, "No, I use a floby." <laughs> <laughs> no, we, and, we haven't used the floby in a while. We did. We did shame, try the floby. We were doing the floby for a bit because, especially during the COVID, like I was cutting my kids' hair. I was cutting Titus. Right, right. We, haven't, we haven't cut Riley's hair yet. Um, that's a but, whole different topic. Yeah, I want we'll to get into that, but I was cutting Titus's hair. So we would get the flow because that's what my grandparents use. Hey, and, it works. <laughs> and it works. You gotta have a good vacuum though. Like a good, a good vacuum attachment. We had to kind of finagle <laughs> something to connect it to a modern vacuum. Cause we've like, this thing is from really? the sixties. It's old. I, look, I remember seeing out. commercials for the Floby in the nineties yeah. on TV. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea. There's no like cleanup because it's attached to the vacuum. It's vacuum as it cuts. So it, and pulls it, it out. what it does it vacuums your hair into the vacuum. Yes, port, into the blades. and then it has scissors, not like not like like clipper. Blades, yeah, not right? like clippers things. It's like two blades that just kind of go back and forth and, and keep <laughs> cutting as it it pulls your hair up. So you right. put enough attachments on the floby for the length of hair that you want. That you want. Which it's is, just like a it, clipper. It's, even, it's like a it's clipper, but you can go farther scissors. than like in seven or sure. eight, however the clipper will go. But I ended up going to sports clips in Jacksonville because I didn't know where else to go. But like I want to, I want a barber. Where else are you going to go? Where else yeah. are you going to go? Around here, I'm back in Palm Beach Gardens. Um, I think you've said that Reese no longer works at that MVP. Uh, I never went to Reese. And yeah, so that's my issue is that Reese, my, my barber... And and he's on Instagram, but he he's so not active. And anyways, he um he moved to Port St. Lucie, so that's where we moved. And I I'm like, oh, this is great. I gotta find him. Where Instagram comes in, so I Instagrammed him. Like, hey, dude, yeah. where are you? I'm in your area. And and it took a solid three months because <laughs> oh, he yeah. does he's. Like he looked one of the stuff we've been talking about is how bad I am in particular at, at social media. He's just as bad, man. I just, I don't do social media. I try to, I really do, but I just, I don't, I just don't. So he does. And he finally got back to me. He goes, no, man, I moved back to Pittsburgh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, man. But he was good. And that guy, that, that he's the one that made me decide I needed, I needed one, a barber and two, my barber yeah because i could go in i could say hey me, reese what's going on man how you doing and if he was busy it's all good I'll, I'll wait i'll wait no no worries man you're my guy so that's the guy i'm gonna go to he knows i'm going to him and not anyone else yeah he moved to a different barber shop i went to that one yeah. right to be with reese because that guy does a good job he knows what i want he does it what i want and that's been my biggest problem. I haven't cut my hair since 2019 because <laughs> Reese, Reese left, <laughs> and, and it was like I I didn't go in regularly, so so it wasn't like I could just go in and talk to him all the time. I didn't need to. So I find, I go in, I go, hey man, where's Reese? And one of the guys goes, he moved to Port St. Lucie. All right, peace. <laughs> Actually, later. I think I got my hair cut and I hated it. <laughs> so well, so that's kind of the thing when you go to. Uh... Same thing as like sports clips. Like you can request a person, right? But well, sure. There's nobody there that I like. Well, that's not true. I I recently got my hair cut, and I really appreciated the okay. way that that person did it. Like you can kind of request, but it's, it's just weird. Like you just walk in and take whoever's there. Yeah, I, I try not to complain. And they, they ask you, you know, what what do you want? And you say a number four, and yeah, they give well, you they a ha- four they program and... it. They keep it. It's all attached to your phone what? number. So when you walk in, like you put your phone number in. They know oh. that I'm Connor, and it put, uh, prints out a little ticket before I go back that says, last time he came in, this is what he got. Wow. Okay, that's Which cool. Which is kind of cool. And they'll say, like, hey, are we still doing this? And it's like, yep. So then anybody who takes you, you know, they, they know what you got last time. 
Look, that that's good, and it's good for people with with like a funky memory because it took Reese a solid year and a half because I I wasn't there all the time before yeah. I would like he recognized me after about a year or like oh this is that guy this is the handsome guy I come in shaggy and I'd leave looking good and and uh, he's the one that got me saying fresh because I, I I left one day and he goes man you look fresh. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, I do. Like, <laughs> like I, it was like my hair was fresh. That's when I started. Like, if I if I see someone who's who's like something's changed on you and it's looking good, you look fresh, man. That's yeah. where that's where Reese is what get, got me saying that. That's pretty cool. But he knew, and it took him a while. But that's a really good idea. Yeah, it's cool. There was another thread there that I was gonna pull of what you were talking about, and I lost it <clears throat> about beards and hair. Maybe that's the thing, because, like, at sports clips, like, they don't do beards. Yeah. So I got to take care of that myself, which I don't mind, but I no. remember what it was now. I remember the thread I was going to pull. Um, going to <laughs> get a haircut is, like, for the longest time, I just went to Kathy, like, was, and I got the same haircut. And Yeah, you had the I, same haircut all through high school. <laughs> I had the same haircut. I had long hair. Except for when it was long. <laughs> yeah, I had long hair for a little while. Yeah. The reason I cut my long hair, it came down to my shoulders, is I realized right. that my mom and I had the same haircut. <laughs> and I don't remember if Kathy ever like said that, because she cuts my mom's hair too. But I just looked at a picture and I was like, oh my funny. gosh, I have my mom's haircut. <laughs> it's the same hair. So I was like, this has got to change. And Man, so, so I went and I got it cut short. <laughs> Your hair is much darker now than it was then, too. Yes. I was just realizing. Yes. Which is... It was blonde in yeah. high school. Seriously. <laughs> and it's, it's like, that's where Riley gets it. <laughs> I was the blonde kid. And we'll see how long it sticks with her. Uh, but going that's in, <laughs> there were a couple times, like, I would bring a picture or something in to get to Kathy to get my hair cut and said, well, I want this. And she'd yeah. be like, no. No. Your hair won't do that. It's like, well, <laughs> dang it. Kathy, just cut my hair and make it look good. I don't care. <laughs> like, the, so that's what made me go to the barber. Yeah, my dad told me one day because I used to, I like I said I could do a high and tight with no issue. It, yeah. I could do the fade on my <laughs> own head. I can do a fade on someone else's head, and it wasn't really a problem. But my dad one day, I hadn't cut my hair in a while, and I just kind of had the same look going. My beard was scraggly, and he goes, "You need to find a barber because you you'll go into them and you'll say, look." Make me look good. Yeah. And that's what they do. And they do the whole thing. Like a barber will do your face. Like a hairdresser does your hair. They don't do your beard. Yeah. Super clips, they don't do your beard. They're worried about the top of your head. So like the barber, they'll give you the full shave. If you can find somewhere that has that, that'll give you a shave, that's the, the, the that's place. That's the place. Go. That's good to know. Yeah. Because that's like kind of my follow up question. And what I think uh some of our listeners may benefit to hear is like how to find a good barber because like any I'm sure anyone who cuts hair will cut your hair however you want if you can communicate and they'll do to a them, great job they'll do a good sure. job but you have to communicate to them and right haircut language is not a language that I speak so <laughs> you know she talk about like oh do you want me to blend it do you want me to fade it and I'm like. I don't. What, are the, what does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> I want it to be shorter here and longer here, and I don't want it to be look like stairs. You know, I want it to be. Like, <laughs> that's a fade. Yeah, <laughs> that that's what leads into the high and tight. Yeah. Um, I will say. So I saw a TikTok the other day. Man, this is becoming a trend on our podcast. I saw a TikTok the other day. It, it, you know what? T- dads are on TikTok. Where this lady was saying, she said exactly what you said. She said, I don't, I don't speak haircut. I don't – clearly I'm yeah. saying something wrong because I have been to three people this year and I have brought in a picture. This is what I want and this is what I get. And she's like, like she just gotten her haircut that day yeah. or something. And it's like, this is not this. <laughs> she's like – she's saying exactly that. What do I need to tell the barber or the hairdresser, whatever she was going to so I can get the haircut I want because every the last year I've just left and been like yeah whatever it, it's my hair's cut it's yeah. fine and it's and shorter the way I would do it and <laughs> I have no nobody can see this but you my hair's long I can pull it in a ponytail not all of it just most of it but my hair's long and I've decided to go long so 
that's where I'm at. But it it was because I was having trouble deciding where to go. Yeah. Like there were a few barber shops. I thought, well, let me go here and find a new barber. I knew who in in the the couple of barber shops I'd been to who I would go to. Um, but then I moved and I've cut my own hair since then. So it's not been like three years since I've had a haircut, but since somebody else has cut my hair, it's been a while. So I'm like, okay, well, what would I, who would I go to? What would I do? Well, let me go to a barber and say, this is what I want. And I can bring in a picture. This is what I look like. And I want to look like this again. Yeah. But I haven't, I, I, it takes some gumption. I think so. And I think part of what plays into it for me is this applies to like my time to Mm -hmm. like my, when I go out to eat, like if I'm going to pay money for something, if I'm going to spend time doing something, I want to know I'm going to like it. I know there's like a cheap thing. That's why like if I go to a restaurant, I'm going to get the same thing every time. Unless I'm feeling adventurous. Unless it's a new place and it's like, okay, let me find something cool. But if I just like I need food, we're going out to eat. We happen to be at Ale House. I'm probably getting the grilled chicken BLT. Like that's going to be my go-to <laughs> right, because I don't want to spend money on something I'm not going to like. Right, so and that's that's I don't want to spend money. That was my biggest thing. I don't want to spend money getting a haircut and then not like it because <laughs> you don't get a right. redo for another few months. And that so the way I've always viewed it is it's just hair; it'll grow back. But on the on the on the other side, it's like, yeah, but I got to pay for somebody to do a bad you job. You pay for it, and then you have to live with it for, you know, three months. Yeah. <laughs> and, and look, if I'm going to – I can do it myself, and I can make it look acceptable to me. So if if my thought when I come home is I could have done a better job at this, I'm – I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, there's nothing I'm going to do about it. I'm not, not going to be like, oh, you give me a better haircut because yeah. I'm just not that kind of person. But I'm going to really be upset about it for a while. So that's what took me forever to get my haircut. And then my hair was long. So I'm, like, well, I'm just going to keep growing it. Yeah. I don't really have that problem because uh, I know I can't do a better job myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a floby. I have a floby. <laughs> Yeah, that, takes, that takes a lot of trouble. I've thought about trying because my hair is not complicated. You know, I keep it two on sure. the sides. I keep a little bit longer on top and long enough to style. And I, yeah. you know, you, you just kind of do the wrist thing where you flick out with the with the clippers th- to kind of fade. That's it. all you do. That's how you do the, fla- the yeah, fade. But you get, you know, it's probably I could probably figure it out. It's going to be rough the first couple tries, though. So I <laughs> know I can't do better <laughs> than, the, than anyone who knows how to cut hair. So. At yeah, that's that. that's like really my thing. Like, I can do it enough on my own head that I would be happy with it. But, I mean, I learn by like watching and then trying. So, yeah. so once I've tried something, either I get it or I or I didn't. Mm-hmm. And and I'll try I, if it's something I care about. I'll try it again. But but like I would watch people do my hair and then I figured it out. Like I'll just try it myself. And my dad used to cut my hair when I was a kid. After having re-trimmed my beard, now I can do it. I know what he was doing. I can see yeah. it. I can do the same thing. It, it you know, it, it. I can do it myself. So it's acceptable. I'm not saying it's as good. Yeah. It's acceptable. But that's, yeah, like that, that's been my whole thing. It's like you've got to try it. And if you don't like it, then it's, well, it's just hair. It'll grow back. But you got to live with it until it grows back. Yeah. Well, and I know mine, this limited number of times, it's going to grow back. It's already getting done up there up top. You, so. you and I do not have the same problem. No, we do not. And and I I I am sorry for for that. <laughs> yeah, I um I have like I went and got my hair cut once, and the lady was like, "You know, we have like this hair regrowth stuff over here, right?" It's like, oh, gee, thank you, <laughs> oh, thank man. you so much for that." You know, I didn't feel bad when I walked in here. Thanks for fixing that. Yeah. Oh man. And when I got my hair cut this time, like you see yourself in the mirror and like when it's wet and just flat to your head, it's like, oh my word. That is, <laughs> that is limited time. I look, I I my dad once told me I'd shaved my head. Oh, it was that time. We all shaved we our all heads. We all shaved our heads. <laughs> and I shaved my head and my dad comes home and he goes, he's like, you shouldn't have done that. And he it wasn't like like the disappointed dad, like it was like, dude, what are you doing to yourself? Kind of, kind of thing. But it, but he's like, you're gonna regret that. I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, 
He said, "What? One day your hair's not gonna grow back." <laughs> and I, I have been blessed. My. <laughs> I remember when you did that because you went somewhere with Ryan, <laughs> and they thought you were his dad. <laughs> and then, and then we went to Kevin's party. He just got his like captain's license, and we go to his party, and one of the people there thought I was Kevin's dad. <laughs> yes. I forgot about that one. <coughs> yes, I am older than Kevin and Ryan, but not that much. Yeah, but like the bald head makes you look a certain age. You know? It does. It's like you are old, but I don't know how old, but you could be young. You're not 15. Yeah. You are somewhere between 25 and 55. Right. And I'm not sure right. where. I either look great for my age or you shouldn't shave your head. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm kind of glad that I shaved my head when I did because I did it at a time when I knew that my hair was going to come back. I was pretty mm-hmm. sure my hair was going to come back. <laughs> right. And I got a pretty good head. I got a pretty good I've got head. a beautiful dome. Yeah. Like that like I I'm kind of regret not regretting it. I said at that point, if I ever go bald, like if I start getting a bald patch, I'm just shaving my head. Yeah. And and it's like, now I kind of have to stick with that. <laughs> but I've got a nice head for it, so. I got a good shaped head. Yeah. I'm ready for we it. We were I'm blessed when that happens. Area. But I am going to try to avoid it for as long as I can. <laughs> it's all good, man. Dude, look, if you start doing a comb over, I'll shave it for you. Thank you. <laughs> but it really looks bad. But that's I'll the, talk to your wife and I'll come in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. That's part of the problem I have though is like because of my hairline it does limit what kind of hairstyles I can do. And I've always yeah. had a high hairline. So if I walk in oh, like yeah, I want to walk have. in somewhere and say I don't know what's going to make my head look good. Please right. make my head look good. <laughs> I think I think one of the things we miss we're missing as a society when it comes to hair hair styles and, and barbers is is the longevity of the relationship sure. because because you could come into my into my salon or barbershop or whatever it's called Connor man how's it going I've known you since you were 13 I know the hairstyles you've had I know what looks good on you I know how it's going right you come into my supercuts and Hi, sir. What's your name? Oh, okay. And your phone number? Okay, I see we did this last time. Do you still want to do that? No. It's it's mechanical and not personal. Even though we're trying for personal, and I think they're doing it the right way with that, that printing, it could be better. Yeah. Given that we have social media now, and there are pictures of you, you could say, look, this is what I've gone through. And you mm-hmm. could build the rapport with someone pretty quick. This is what I've gone through. And I want to look good. So what can you do for me? So, I mean, we, we can kind of build like a, a facsimile of of the the familiarity. Yeah, but the relationship. You can see. Yeah. I can show you some pictures from high school. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it looked like when I had more hair. <laughs> right. Can you make me look good with less hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, I think it, it makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to you, let me know. Yeah. I'll... Uh, I'll adjust my hypothesis. Yeah. Well, and I'd, I think I'd love to hear from people in the business. Like if, if anyone can give us tips of language, like what are the go-tos? Right. Like here's a quick guide of words to say to get the hair that you want. So this is going to be really, really community dependent on this one. I will say I had to ask, like, like Reese said, do you want it flat? Do you want it round? Do you want it faded? Do you want it taper? I'm like, you what said that mean? a bunch of words. I have no <laughs> idea what that means. I know I ended up going with a faded taper because the taper tapers down to a point in the middle of your neck. Okay. But it fades up. So it's like it's real light at the bottom. Uh-huh. Like So like a zero at the bottom. And then I would end up with like a, well, it was scissor cut at the top. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, but it was like, it was like a, it was like a zero to a two. And then scissors on the top. Yeah. Well, to I think it. that's part but. of my uh, my problem now is even between when I go to sports clips, there's like right. 
it's different people, and that those things may mean different things to different people. They mean I always say, different things. I always say that I want a two on the side clipped, and I want like two inches on top, two and two. Yeah, and yeah. I think depending on the person, like this person that I went to last time did what I really wanted is I want it to be a two all the way up on the sides and then blended to two inches on top. But some people right. will start at the bottom at a two and then uh, start yep. bringing it out immediately from that two to work on, oh, the, wow. on the fade. So yeah, I don't have a lot okay. of two on the sides. And so it ends up being longer on the sides of my head, which doesn't really look good. It looks funny. Yeah. It looks funny. This is what I'm going for. But they're like, all right, well, that's what you said you wanted. So you're the customer. You're you not you wrong. <laughs> like, you're that's not, not wrong. what I meant. And I'm like totally the kind of guy who's like, at the end, they're like, does that look good? I'm like, yep. And then sure. I get up and walk out and I'm like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, you you and me, we're the same because I, I do exactly the same thing. If I Like once I have a rapport with someone, it's like, wait, wait, wait. I think I said something funny. Can you Can you do it shorter on the side? But yeah. if I don't know you and there's clearly like I've said something and you're doing not what I said, there's a communication issue. I'm not even going to try to fix it. I don't know you. I don't know what the issue is. And something's not <laughs> getting across. So you do you. <laughs> yeah, I'll live with it. Make my hair shorter and I'll figure it out later. Right. Exactly. <laughs> do you also sell hair gel so I can fix this? <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, it's funny how much we use product to like just hide what's there. Yeah. I did the one time Reese gave me a bad cut. It was the day before my wedding. <laughs> and it wasn't even a bad cut. It was like he, his, my beard laid, was laying funny. So when he, when he trimmed it, it looked great. But then I took a shower. And then I had this one little tuft of beard that was hanging out. And it looked... It was just so goofy, so I took some conditioner, I put it in my beard, and I got it to just, that little tuft to stick up. It was great. Like, not stick up, but, but tuck back in, and it was, yeah. it was beautiful. Keep it back in. <laughs> so, yeah, I know how uh, how good I am at cutting hair, because I attempt to cut Titus's hair yeah. whenever his hair gets too long. And it's no, no bueno? It's okay. Like, this most recent one is definitely my best job. <laughs> like, I'm getting better at it. Awesome. But- you know, we, we've taken him somewhere once, like professional. Okay. We paid someone. Sure. It was traumatic. Um, really? I wasn't there. <laughs> and But it is partially huh. my fault because when we first started cutting his hair, it was just getting shaggy and everything. It wasn't like a big deal, but it was getting in his eyes. And that was really why I wanted to sure. cut it. Same thing now. And like he's a boy, hair, so he has to have short hair. He, he's a boy, so he has to have short hair. Right. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> that is we're being very facetious. I hope you. Yes, that. that is sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> no, but like once it starts Ouch. getting in his eyes and it starts getting in his ears, that's when I'm like, all right, it's time to trim huh. it up. Okay. Um, and his hair is kind of wavy, kind of curly, so it's going all over the place. And yes, um, he definitely likes having longer hair than having shorter hair. Really? Yeah, because there was one day it was picture day at the school. And oh, I like his hair was going everywhere. So I'm like, Hey, well, let me put some product in it. And I did. And he looked in the mirror and he's like, this hair isn't tight as hair. And I felt kind of bad. It's like, Oh, I'm sorry. Was it, it was too short. Yeah. You know, cause oh. his head, like his hair just, just it goes everywhere. And he's like, that's tight as hair. When his oh, so he's like Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> that's a good way to put it. So, um, I also like, so getting haircuts for a while with him was really traumatic because when I first started cutting his hair, I used my beard trimmers right? and I didn't realize that they weren't oiled well enough. So it was actually so pulling, pulling his hair yeah, and I've hurt had that. a lot, but he couldn't communicate that because he was like two and a half <laughs> at the time. All he knew was ow. All and he knew was ow, that thing hurts my head. So... Any other time we try to cut his hair, even to this day, if he sees the clippers, he's like, oh, no, man. I'm out. He's gotten a little better. It's oh, a little man. easier to convince him. So you use used scissors on his hair. We've used scissors for a long time because he wouldn't But you us. personally do. Yes, me personally. Wow, okay. It looks okay. awful. It does not come out well. See, that's something I haven't done. I use clippers, and clippers are beautiful because probably for the same reason you've been having an issue, they cover up a lot of mistakes. Yes, like 
I put a number two on mm-hmm. and I do I like I go at it with a number two, right? That's as short as it's gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it does that's it. My dad one time cut my hair. Right. Well, he actually cut my hair a lot of the time, but there was one time I was in like I was young and he's cutting my hair and all of a sudden my mom and I hear, Oops. <laughs> <laughs> My mom freaked out. I didn't really care. I was doing like probably playing on my giant Game Boy, and my the the guard fell off, and so he just hit my head with a pair of clipper. Right? Oops. Like, Oops. <laughs> right. Right. So, but that's like that's the worst that can happen. Sure. <laughs> the bar the guard falls off. Well, you cutting with scissors, man? That's yeah. Props to well, you. Dude. He's gotten he's gotten better with the clippers. And I'll be real, like, when it's time to cut his hair, there are times when I'm begging him. I'm like, Titus, please, let me use the clippers. It's so much easier. It'll look so much better. It'll take so much less time. Let me use the clippers, please. And he's he's just freaking out. And so until we finally, like, I'll just do it. And he's like, oh, okay, it doesn't really, doesn't really hurt. That's okay. It's just loud. It's just loud. See, that's yeah. one of the things that I hated when I was a kid was how loud it was. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, you're gonna put that next to my head. Yeah, and he's yeah. definitely sensitive to like that audio kind of stuff, like yeah, especially Mabel's the constant the that constant sound. <sighs> so, yeah. yeah, his latest haircut looks pretty good, and we're gonna let that good. one ride for probably six months at least. That's a long time, especially for a kid. They're a well, lot he smaller. Li- Their he likes it to get longer, proportionately faster. So good for him, man. He likes to grow it so out. Do I. Riley, we have not touched her hair. Yeah, we haven't cut it at all. I, we haven't done it for either of the girls yet either. And and I feel kind of bad. Like, if I had a boy, I, I feel kind of bad because if I had a boy, would I have done the same thing? Like, at this point, Charlotte May's hair is long. Like, yeah. she is laying on it when she when she goes to bed. And she hates getting it brushed. Like, that's our biggest issue right now. Yeah. She doesn't like brushing her hair. So, when I was a kid, I didn't get my first haircut until I was like four I think I had long hair as a kid and, mm-hmm. and uh, it was a big deal. And I have this weird thing about myself that like, I am ironically sentimental. Like for the most part, I couldn't care less, but mm-hmm. about certain things, I'm really sentimental. So like, if you give me a gift, I'm going to cherish the gift. Right. But like, otherwise I don't really care. It, it's whatever. It, it's whatever. It's just a thing. <laughs> I don't really care. So, right. So my kids hair, it's like, this is their first haircut. It's a big deal, right? It's not a big deal. It's just freaking hair. Yeah. But it's their first haircut. It's a big deal. And uh, I don't know. I feel like if I was a girl, I would want my hair to be really long. So I'm projecting maybe. But we haven't cut the girl's hair either. And and Charlotte may be four at the end of May. And her hair is going to be four years old. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, that's a weird thing. Like you think about it, your yeah. hair is as old as you are. And for Riley, yeah. it took a long time for her hair to really come in, you know? Yeah. Even when she was like young too, she didn't have a lot of hair. It was really thin <laughs> and it's curly. It, it's funny looking back when, when Charlotte May was born, I thought she had a ton of hair. Yeah. But she didn't, she did not, not neither of my girls did. And Riley's hair is curly, so it even yeah. though it's longer, it kind of bobs up. And right. I've I've thought about cutting her hair just because of the ends. Like the ends it's of her ends, hair are pretty right. rough. Like the split ends look pretty rough. So I'm like, oh, we'll just trim off the bottom and leave it. But some folks are like, oh, if sure. you cut those curls off, they're never coming back. I'm like, that's kind of sad. I hope not. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't know. We'll, but we'll what do you I know, know whenever we uh, we finally get a cut? We'll see. Because I know my hair, to her, her hair is kind of like mine. Uh, yeah. She does have a higher hairline. Sorry, Riley. Um, and it's really straight in the front. And it kind of swoops down across her face. That's my hair did the same thing. And uh, in the back, when my hair in the back gets longer, it gets curly. And that's what her hair does. Yeah. Yeah. So I think my hair doesn't okay. curl. It's more wavy than anything else. But 
it does end up having like curls and loops to it. It's kind yeah. of my hair is all sorts of messed up. I got cowlicks left and right. Yeah. It, it, poor Mabel, she's got my hair for sure. The, the kid looks just like me. And it's I feel kind of bad, but my cousin looks just like my uncle and she is beautiful. <laughs> That's so, good. There's hope. There's hope, right? Mm. So may, maybe maybe you take this mug and you make it a little bit more feminine and beauty happens you know maybe uh so yeah it's a thin line <laughs> it is it is <laughs> but uh well, we've been talking about haircuts for 40 minutes i was just gonna say well thanks for hanging out with us on the dad shoes podcast the dad group where you don't have to talk to anyone unless you want to so if you are a haircut specialist a hair engineer if you were Ooh, uh, I like that one. Yeah. If you uh, if you work with hair, we want to hear from you. What are the terms that we need to know to get the results that we want on our head? It's really important. If you have any tips for finding a barber, I'm looking for some. I need to find a barber in the Palm Beach Gardens area. It's a little tough out there. Uh, I don't want to go somewhere like commercial. I'm okay with sports clips. They do a good job. But if you have any tips for finding a barber, let me know what you got. Um, and what about your kids here? How soon did you give your daughters and sons their first haircut? And did you keep the hair? I did not. I did not keep my son's hair when we cut it the first time. Hmm. We did keep... You're a terrible person. I know. I'm an awful parent. <laughs> we did keep his hair from his first paid haircut because they put it in a little baggie for us with a certificate. And so we kept that. Um <laughs> Hey, you know what? Just tell him that. <laughs> yeah, we'll say, hey, this is Titus. If you ever listen to this, your dad was joking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are your thoughts on hair? We'd love to hear from you. You can reach out to us at Dad Shoes Pod on Instagram and Twitter. Peace.